All right, so today we're gonna to be doing something pretty simple. We're gonna be replacing the air filter on our beautiful Cessna 150 with a bracket aero filter. Um, really common on a lot of the older um, 152s, 150s, 172s, 170s. Um, Continental Motors um, use basically this type of air filter. Um, it's just a simple foam element. Um, it's already pre-oiled when it comes from aircraft spruce or usually whoever you buy it from. It's uh, pretty disgusting, so you make sure you put on uh, gloves just because whatever kind of greasy oil uh, they use will stick to you pretty well. Simple Phillips head screwdriver is going to go ahead and break these two screws loose for us. All right, with those two screws gone, we can go ahead and remove our grate. It's just basically held in there on, but in place by that nasty, greasy, oily, sooty residue. Um, and it's covered in quite a bit of dust as well. So we're going to go ahead and grab a rag and try to clean this up the best we can. You can see the difference in your air filter where all the dirt and dust is kind of collected and where it's been protected by that grate. All right, to remove our old element, we're simply just going to kind of dig in there with our screwdriver and pull it out. Make sure that the grate behind there is still intact. Um, check that the filter element's not super deteriorated. No foam was actually going up into your engine. Um, all the screws are in place and tight on your uh, filter assembly there. And this guy is just trash. Just make sure you throw it away and you don't let it touch your hands or bare skin because, again, that's really greasy, nasty stuff that they oil these with. The oil is actually what traps the dirt, um, not so much the uh, foam element. We'll take our new foam element out of here. And just make sure you got a clean glove on when you pull this out. It's basically cut just like that. There's no front or back to it. You're simply just gonna put it in how it makes sense. And you kind of scrunch it in there, make sure that it's equally pushed in, that it's sealing tight. Once you initially get it in there, work it in with your fingers, um, work it in with maybe a credit card or some sort of plastic spreader. You don't want to use a flat blade screwdriver or anything sharp that's going to possibly tear it. Um, you just want to make sure that it's tucked in nice and tight, it's fully sealing um, and keeping all the dirt out of your engine that's intended to. All right, we got our filter element in there. We're gonna go ahead and put our grate back in place. Just note the way that you took it off is the way you're gonna put it back on. If needed, you probably typically don't need to, but you could lubricate these screws with some corrosion X, but they're probably already pretty greasy coming out of there. All right, both those screws are snug down. The filter looks good. I don't see it bulging anywhere. It's fully sealed at all corners. It's gonna keep all the dirt out of our engine that's intended to. And of course, now that we've done this as a uh, pilot owner, uh, preventative maintenance, uh, we wanna go ahead and as always do um, uh, ops check, run up the engine, make sure that everything looks good, that it doesn't shift with vibration, um, everything works properly. Although that's a pretty simple procedure, still wanna check it. Uh, before you go flying, shut down the engine, get out, look at it, and then after that even, take it a step further, just to ensure safety. Take the airplane flying, come in, shut down, look at it again, and um, if everything looks good, um, then uh, you can say that's a, a good air filter replacement. Uh, make sure you got your logbook endorsement in your maintenance logs, and we're going to go ahead and talk about that next uh, with some different phraseology we can use to put into our maintenance logs as uh, pilot owners. So the most important thing to get into your maintenance logs is going to be the date, the recording tack time, and the total time in service should it be uh, different from the actual recording tack time. Also not a bad idea to throw in there your total time since major overhaul in your engine just to keep track and keep it pretty. Now this entry could go in your engine log, great to put in both the engine and airframe log. Uh, so right here we have removed and replaced air filter per Cessna the maintenance manual. And that is a great entry to put in there because it saves you from having to detail out every single thing you did, remove screws, remove filter, so on and so on. If you just say per Cessna maintenance manual, now it's important to actually use the Cessna maintenance manual, 
but if you say you did the work per Cessna maintenance manual, then that's all you really need to have in there. Now we could take a look at this oil filter endorsement or oil filter oil change entry and see what we have here is a little more detailed because we didn't write in there completed work per maintenance manual. We actually had to detail out and write what we did, remove safety wire, remove oil filter, re-safety wire, so on and so forth. So a couple of different ways to do this and then just make sure you got your pilot certificate number on there, um, you specify private pilot and uh, also your signature and name as well on that entry there. So if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below on this video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Check out some of our other helpful videos at fly8mikealpha.com. We hope you get to fly every day, and if not, then fly8mikealpha.com. See you guys later.